We talk a lot about women on the news at 11 and tonight is no exception. We're focusing on Major General Linda Singh. She is a trailblazer and inspiration and oh yes, the first African American person and first woman to lead the Maryland National Guard. Delia Gonsalves sat down with her for a fascinating conversation about leadership and life. You know, you know the time is right when you feel things have aligned. I sat down with Major General Linda Singh to reflect on her nearly four decades of service. Singh is the first African American and the first woman to serve as Adjutant General of the Maryland National Guard. She's the first to have an all women command staff. Uh, I don't think they really know how proud of all of them that I am. A leader's leader, a trailblazer, a woman who has risen above the rest in a male dominated field. When you strip down the numerous degrees and awards, Linda Singh is a working mom. Because we go to bed tired. And a woman who overcame challenges that might have broken somebody else. Poverty, sexual abuse, homelessness. When they convinced me to, to join the National Guard and I was 17 years old, I didn't really think about it. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to get away from Frederick City. <laughs> I'm going to get off the streets. Her survival skills helped her navigate some of the worst times in her military career. I'm just going to ignore it and pretend that you know, this just did not happen. Mm. And he called me at home. And his conversation was, when I tell you to do something, you're to do it. In a time when women were not empowered to report sexual assault in the military, Singh showed remarkable strength. Not only am I going to be wearing your rank, I'm going to be holding your rank when I'm done. And told her first sergeant who reassigned her. I had already had, you know, my uh, integrity and my self-esteem stripped away. I wasn't letting anybody else to take that from me. We also talked about the hard work and sacrifice it took to command Maryland's National Guard. I think especially as black women, we don't have the luxury to complain right. or to feel sorry for ourselves. Right. right. How has that shaped your career? Well, I mean, that's an excellent question because when I think of early in my career, I was, was married and then became a single parent and I didn't have an option. The one thing I learned from my grandmother, my grandmother raised 14 kids plus myself. She had me for nine years. And she cleaned other people's houses. She came home and she cooked. And we didn't have running water. So when I say she came home and she cooked, um, it was a matter of getting the water from the spring. Mm -hmm. It was a matter of, you know, getting something, you know, out to cook or my grandfather would have went hunting. He's, you know, cleaning whatever it is that we were going to eat. And she never complained. I never heard her ever complain about taking care of her kids or even her grandkids. Mm -hmm. And that to me, you know, when I reflect back on that, I'm like, well, what right do I have to complain? Singh is a survivor, a leader, a role model, not only to her team, but to the children in her community. I drive in and out of, out of Baltimore, right, and I see the young men that are washing the windows. So I could very easily say, don't wash my windows. But instead, I let them wash my window. I don't ask them, really, what are they going to do with the money? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'll say, you know, what are you doing? Why aren't you in school? Because sometimes it really is about someone being just able to say we care. Mm -hmm. Someone to listen. Yeah, and that we see them. We see them. I want to continue to make an impact in my own way. Well, I'm glad I had the opportunity to meet with you before Thanks. you're doing even bigger and greater things. Thanks. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So Thank wonderful. you all. Talk about paying your life forward. Thank you, Major Singh, Major General Singh, I should say, for your service and your example.